Hi, I'm Steven Schleicher, and for the last several months, I've been working with Cinema 4D Release 15 from Maxon. And I've got to tell you, it's been really, really fun. In fact, I like it so much that it's caused me to switch from another animation package to Cinema 4D. Now, this isn't a regular review like you're going to see from a lot of other sites. I mean, you've probably already read those reviews. Instead, what I'm going to do is I'm going to talk to you about the top five things that I like in Cinema 4D Release 15 that caused me to switch. Regardless of what you are animating, the ability to render a project quickly is what matters when deadlines are approaching. In Cinema 4D Release 15, render times have been optimized with some dramatic results. Take a look at this demo file from Maxon that renders in 1 minute 3 seconds on Cinema 4D Release 14 and a mere 44 seconds in Release 15. And to make it more impressive, both of these scenes have global illumination turned on. It's not quite twice the speed when using global illumination, so I tested it again using a scene that wasn't as render intensive. In this example, using the Stanford Dragon, the scene rendered in 1 minute 27 seconds in release 14 and 1 minute 5 seconds in release 15. Speed improvements are speed improvements, and being able to render 3 frames in the amount of time it takes to render 2 is quite the improvement for me. In both cases, the global illumination results look great, and I expect we'll see even more renders that have natural looking lighting that would fool even the experts. In release 14, Maxon allowed you to create cool camera moves with motion cameras and camera morphs. In Cinema 4D release 15, you can now create amazing jib moves with just a few clicks of the mouse that match the real world counterparts. You have the ability to control the tripod base, the length of the arm and the position of the camera on the crane, and animate all of those properties. Combine this with a camera target and you end up with a dynamic shot. You can even link the camera crane to a spline object to create realistic Hollywood moves with ease. Let's face it, the bevel tool in previous releases of Cinema 4D were not that great. Release 15 changes all of that. The bevel tool has gone through a lot of adjustments in Release 15 and offer a lot of interactivity and control over your object while keeping your meshes clean. You can bevel points, edges, and polygons by selecting the items you want to change. This is beveling done right. You can control the bevel through the interface, have it aligned to a spline, or shape it to your heart's desire. You wouldn't think something as simple as a bevel would make it into the top five list, but here it is, and it's a well-earned ranking. The typography tool gets a much needed feature in this release, individual kerning of letters in the 3D view. Instead of having to work in another application to get everything lined up just right, I can quickly and easily manipulate the kerning, tracking, and the horizontal and vertical scale on a per letter basis. If you don't think this is a big deal, you probably haven't done a lot of text work in a 3D package. This is a game changer and deserves the spot at number two. I know this isn't a new feature in Cinema 4D Release 15. It's been around for a while, but the main reason that I switched from my previous animation package to Cinema 4D Release 15 is the tight integration between Adobe After Effects and the animation software. No longer do I have to wonder if the animation and live footage are going to line up correctly, and I don't have to spend hours jumping back and forth between numerous applications trying to get 3D elements into my composition. It just happens with the, uh, the Cineware Bridge. Using new features in Release 15, I can lay out mock type and After Effects, send it all to Cinema 4D for custom tweaking of the lettering, extrusion, and lighting, then pop back to After Effects to render it all out. Cinema 4D is a really nice addition to the Adobe After Effects package, but if you really want to maximize the power of Cinema 4D, you really need a full studio release. Now, I know that some of you are going to use the comments section to start a flame war to talk about why your animation package is better than another animation package. That's not really the point of this video. What I'm trying to show here is that here are five reasons that I made the switch from one tool to another. What we're really saying is, use the tool that best suits your needs. Now, again, I like the light version, but I really recommend that, that uh, if you're considering moving over to Cinema 4D, or if you've already got the Cinema 4D light version, that I suggest you ju jump over to Cinema 4D Release 15, the studio package. That is the best one that I've seen so far. The maximum power that you're going to get. I'm giving Cinema 4D Release 15 a strong buy recommendation.